Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about the power of a single event. And when I talk about a single event, I'm not talking about click or view. I'm actually talking about how you look at an action or something the user did that gives you value, that enables you to ask a different, more complicated question than just vanity metrics. I don't want to see just the funnel. I don't want to see just the user flow from where he got until where. I want to understand the context. I want to understand why he did what he did. Why did he add this product to cart? Why did he view this product from the catalog page? Okay, and to do that, we're gonna look at this e-commerce website basically called Confetti. Confetti is a different e-commerce website because you can buy a team building experience online. So to do that, you need to basically explore and find the product you want. After you find the product you want, you can add it to cart. And then, of course, you can check out and continue to book the times you want. And again, we're not looking for a simple vanity metric saying, oh, okay, the user viewed the homepage and then he viewed the product page and then he added to cart. That won't give us a lot except a vanity metric, which is a number. We want to understand why he did that. Okay, so let's explore now. And here you can see that I have the all-time favorites and I have the trending and seasonal and I have the curated collections. So everything here basically allows you to give context to what the user does next. If I choose this product, why, why did I choose it? Was it first in the page, like here? Was it um, in the next page and I had to click to view the next page? Or was it um, tagged in a different um, tag, right? It wasn't virtual or it was virtual. Everything here, including the title, including the comments, including ratings, including sales, basically anything that tags this um, item will give me context to why did the user later on go and click. Okay, now again, here I didn't have a lot of click um, product properties okay I, I basically looked at the properties and decided what I can aggregate into my event to make sure I understand why the user did what he did okay so to do that we're going to look at a different event we're looking at the plan experience which is where we are now the product page um, if you look at an e-commerce, basically the add to cart. What made the user click the next date and time? Was it the cost? Was it the different um, experiences written here? The versions? Is it something to do with the community? Did I read what other customers did? Right? Did I start scrolling and look at additional comments people left all these actions instead of having an event of an action such as viewed community love or viewed you know ratings i can add that to the event i want to track so basically i'm going to track a plan experience event where i have a headcount let's say 40 and i get the instant quote and in the instant quote, I can send additional uh, properties. Okay, I, I will show you in the mix panel. But basically what I'm trying to say is don't look at the event as the track event, as the specific uh, click, but look at it as what can I aggregate into that event, such as if I want to plan this experience, did I do that? 
and look at community um, comments, ratings? Did I get help with support? Did I read the FAQ? All those things can help me answer questions such as how the distribution between people who did read the FAQ versus the ones who didn't that then later planned an experience or booked an experience. That will give me context and will allow me to say, oh, okay, there's something in the FAQ that users want to read. And users that read this go ahead and convert, go ahead and check out. Okay, so I created a single event in Mixpanel. And we'll go into the events tab to see what I put here. And as you can see, I put a lot of properties. Again, because the properties such as did I read the community? Did I look at the price? What was the price for me? What was the item? Okay, you can see the item. You can see um, the cost, which is right here. Okay, and you can see the headcount. You can see a lot of different things I bring here, including the selections, right? Number of times played. Which format did I choose? Did I choose the hybrid or did I choose the on-site? Did I choose the team allocation with choose your own team or just shuffle? All of those things basically give you context to why the user chose that. And then you can start looking at reports with different things, right? So if I want to see based on headcount, I can go to the event of plan experience and I can just Instead of to count total, I can aggregate and look at the average based on the cost or based on the headcount. Okay, I can add additional context such as did you support, did read FAQ. All those things I can add as aggregations to properties. And now I can start building funnels and say, okay, show me how many users did plan experience started who then checked out. Um, and in the checkout, I can say, okay, give me a breakdown by people where the um, FAQ was read. Okay, and then it will show me the funnel based on users who did read the FAQ and the ones who didn't. Again, this is the power of the single event. It allows you to break down by not um, just the action, but the